All right, now we are continuing to follow that breaking news story we first brought to you at four. The body of Dow Mabil has been found in the Pearl River. Lawrence County Sheriff Ryan Everett says Mabil's body was found floating in the river Saturday. The Jackson man went missing a little more than three weeks ago. Three your side's Quentin Smith has been following this developing story since Mabil went missing. Quentin, there are so many questions tonight, particularly how he ended up in the river. Well, Howard, at this time, we don't know. That's still being investigated. But here's what we do know. Right now, I'm at the Museum Trail in Bellhaven Heights, which is where Mobile is believed to have come for his walk. He's believed to have started right here, which is where we are now. He then walked north along this trail before his body ultimately ended up in the Pearl River, which is about a mile from where his walk initially started. At this time, police are saying they don't believe foul play is involved. However, Mobile's brother, he isn't buying that. He believes Mobile was killed. Dow did not just disappear into the thin air. His disappearance was caused by someone. Bull Mobile says he wants to get to the bottom of what happened to his brother Dow. When I got a call in Houston that my brother was missing, that he went for a walk but never came back. It was a strange story I have ever heard. He's now led to believe that foul play was involved in his brother's death. If someone is kidnapped and murdered and his body is taken away, what do you call that? That is simply a hate crime. That's what these people did. It's a hate crime. You took away the life of my brother. You will be whole accountable. It all dates back to March 25th. That's when Mobile left home around noon to go for a walk at the museum trail in Bellhaven Heights. Outside of this picture taken on a surveillance camera, the Jackson man was never seen again. He had everything to live for. He had plans for his life, so he wouldn't have just put himself into the Pearl River. The narrative that's been put out there about him just disappearing somehow in the thin air or that there was nobody involved in the situation, that it was a, a, a solo act of his own. Uh, we have credible information that leads us to believe otherwise. Carlos Tanner and Lisa Ross are representing Bull. The attorneys say they can't get into the details or specifics on what's drawing them to the conclusion that Dow was killed, but they do have a suspicion on who could know more about what happened. It appears that it was done by somebody who may be close to my brother. He normally walked with his wife and he did everything with her. For, so for him to just go out one day in the middle of the day and within 30 minutes his wife it put, put posts on Facebook that he's missing. Now, we've reached out to Mobile's wife multiple times today for a response to these allegations. At this time, we are still waiting to hear back. Although it has been identified as Mobile's body that was found in the Pearl River in Lawrence County, the cause and manner of death are still pending. Continuing our team coverage tonight is our Nathan Lee, who joins us in the studio. Nathan, what can you tell us? Yeah, thanks, Quentin. We just got back from the very emotional press conference where Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba gave Dow Mobile's family the opportunity to speak once again about Dow and what's next in this investigation. Mayor Lumumba and the Jackson Police Chief Joseph Wade made it clear today that they are opening their own investigation at JPD at the request of the Mobile family. Chief Wade says his next steps involve talking to talking with District Attorney Jody Owens and the U.S. Attorney with the Department of Justice, as well as meeting with a special agent with the FBI assigned to this case. Mobile's foster mother, Valina Greer, and Mayor Lumumba talk about what's next. I want to say that I have mixed feelings right now. I'm angry, I'm hurt, and I'm tired. But I won't give up because Dow was too precious to me to give up on him. If we establish that there was foul play afoot, that we will prosecute the perpetrators to the fullest extent of the law. Now, while Mobile's family was critical of Capitol Police's efforts so far, they're still asking for all agencies to work together. The family plans to have their own medical examiner conduct an independent autopsy within the next 48 hours. They are now working with the Department of Public Safety and Capitol Police to get access to Mobile's body. They hope to have that access within the next seven days. Nathan Lee, three on your side.
Frankie